Uh, in a previous interview, Barry, you mentioned seeing a lizard-like creature at Peasmore. Would you uh, tell us more about that? Yeah, on one occasion, it was just a, a single occasion, I was in the main corridor at the base, and coming out of the room, along the main corridor was this very large creature, very tall, well over six foot, um, being accompanied by two uh, men in suits, which I took to be NSA operatives, they're the only ones who don't wear badges in the place. Uh, I just stopped in my tracks, very, very uh, shaken, I mean, it's a very powerful looking uh, being, very difficult to describe, just very, very tall, very well built, very strong, well over, as I say, well over six foot, it must have towered at least a foot over my, my head. Uh, a greeny browny mottled uh, type of skin. I tried to take in as many details as possible, but as I say, it literally caught me unawares. I was really put into shock. Didn't know what the hell it was. It was just casually walking along the main corridor with the two operatives. Got a very strong sense of evil and nastiness about the thing. Um, it worried me for quite a while afterwards I mean you know you're never told the security people are last to be told what's going on but it was inferred by others at the time that that was one of the reptile species because it didn't mean that much to me at the time but every time you ask questions no one wanted to answer it was just strongly inferred that yeah that was a reptilian you don't want to mess with that and it was just left at that but over the years it's, it just seems more and more plausible to me that that also was another creation from the base. It just, you know, there, there may well be reptilian races, but it's just as easy for the military to have actually made this thing, rather than it being an actual reptilian. Like the rest of them? Like the rest of them, yeah. It, it's, it, I sit more happier with that, that, yeah, that was actually made, rather than an actual species. That it was a program generated live for him. I'm pretty certain it was, yeah. yeah. Uh, did he make sounds or say anything? No, he never looked at me. It just continued walking. There was no interaction whatsoever. Um, I, only, I only got some interaction from the two guys who that I'm standing there, mouth wide open, gaping at this. And I just got the look from them. Just, uh, you know. And they just continued, and I continued about my business. No, there was no sound. Uh, no speaking, no nothing whatsoever. It was just walking along the main corridor with the two guys. That was it. Did you have any idea what his function was? Um, well, again, you ask as many questions as, as you formulate afterwards once you've got over the initial shock of what the hell was that. No one wanted to know. Uh, no one wanted to easily give answers to questions. It was a case of, well, you saw it, that was it. You know, don't ask questions. Troublemakers ask questions and they don't want that. He was walking on two feet, was he, or four feet, or...? Two, yeah, two so, well, he's standing upright. I mean, as I say, I'm trying to take in. This all happened probably within 30 seconds. I'm taking it in, uh, feeling, you know, whew, yeah, I don't want to meet this on a dark night anywhere. Um, yeah, I never even bothered to look back. It was, well, the glance back I gave both the, the, the figure and the two, two guys was, was very brief. While I continue, but see, I've got jobs to do. I'm away. That's not my business. But over a period of time, you were there for uh, upwards of a year or so altogether. Why did this one bit of 30 seconds, right, of this brief... Because it was so out of place with what was going on there. I mean, everyone's so used to the, the three different phases, you know, of development of the PGs, and this literally stuck out like a sore run. You know, it's just not the usual thing you see around. It was just the once, once only. Um, yeah, it was very unnerving, yeah. very scary. Any final questions? You didn't see an insignia or anything on his clothing? I mean, he was dressed in something, um, presumably. If it was, again, I never noticed. Uh, I didn't discern, you know, oh, that was skin and that was clothing. It, it, that just didn't, that wasn't there. It was just this tall beard. I mean, mostly my focus was from, you know, chest upwards. I mean, the head, you know, it was, yeah. I was literally expecting it to turn around and face me. Then I wouldn't know what I would have done if it had done, but it just kept looking straight and continuing, as if I wasn't even there. So, no, I didn't take in that many details. Uh, what I saw was, yeah, quite enough, thanks very much. Is there anything that you could, that you could say it looked like? 
Uh, well, again, you've seen drawings that people have done over the years of supposed uh, reptilians, Draco, whatever they, you know, the, the names are given. It, it lizard-like. I mean, it literally is like a very tall, very big lizard. I mean, you know, half expecting the big forked tongue to come out, but you know, again, it's just what you expect, what you're programmed to expect a, a lizard-type being to be like. Any idea why they would create such a creature? Well, it's exactly the same like the, the, the normal, if you can call them that, PGs. I mean, they're there for military abductions. And there's a, a, an awe of mystery over the reptilians. They're the dangerous ones. They're the ones who are in charge. Uh, they're just continuing that. Yeah. Anything, finally, that you would like to say to um, the Savvy Group? Well, as I mentioned... Any word of advice on it? Well, there is. I mean, there's, there's insiders out there who probably know a hell of a lot more than I'll ever know. And there's a lot of people out there who want to come forward. Just give them the reassurances that they'll be listened to without being laughed at, and they'll come forward. Can you help in that regard? Well, it's limited to what I can personally do. I mean, I can only help with people over on this side of the Atlantic, and I know there's a Absolutely, load of people yeah, locally, yeah. Yeah, who are involved. And by making my documents known, they know that I was involved. It might make me a little bit safer in coming forward. Okay. Well, thank you very much. We certainly appreciate your time and efforts. Okay.